What's up everybody, Nykov the Fox here, and welcome back to another episode of Fan Mail Openings. We're just going to go ahead and get started, as per usual. This first one is coming from Texas. We got some little stickers in here, looks like a spring trap, a Freddy, and then, oh, it's Freddy, Gregory, and Vanny. And then, Freddy, and then spring trap trying to fall in the back there. That's so cute, thank you. I will add them to my collection. Oh, we also have a little like bracelet. Oh, it's Night Cove colored. It's got Night Cove colors. It's so pretty. We also have a blank card here. Maybe it was used to hold the stickers and they just fell out. Dear Nykov the Fox, my name is Haley, but you can call me Luna. This is my first time writing fan mail. You inspired me to do cosplay and my first ever cosplay is Roxy. Then I did half sun, half moon. Oh, you predicted eclipse. Very cool. This year, I'm going to do Glam Rock Chica. I like watching your panels at Fan Fusion. One day, I want to write my own book, but I have dyslexia, so it's going to be difficult to write, but I will get better with time. This upcoming year, I'm going to be in fifth grade. Thank you for inspiring me. Sincerely, Luna. Aw, well, I hope you have a great fifth grade experience. Fifth grade was one of my favorite grades. Oh, you put a couple of like pictures here. Are these Polaroids? That's so cute. Oh, I like your costume. That turned out really good. Look at that. That's amazing, wonderful job. Keep it up. Ooh, this is pretty. Oh, you colored like a little mandala. Is that what they're called? Like it looks like a flower. That's really pretty. I love the colors, thank you so much. Next up, we've got something coming from New York. Ooh, looks like we've got some more stickers here. What do we got? We got a marionette. We got a spring trap. We've got the original gang. We've got, oh, it's Nightmare. Haven't seen him in a while. We got another spring trap. He looks identical to the last guy. He's got a twin. And then we got Golden Freddy and not Golden Freddy. <laughs> These are so cool, thank you so much. Hello, I'm a huge fan of your channel and I'm really excited to send this letter. You have always been a huge inspiration to me with your cosplays and I love your music as well. My favorite songs are For You and What You Did. Your videos are fun to watch and you're super cool, yay! <laughs> I also included a few stickers. Love, Will. It's a cute little glitch trap at the bottom. Look at him. He's so silly. Oh, well, thank you for writing to me, Will. I love the stickers. Next up, we have something coming from Arizona. Well, howdy do, fellow desert dweller. Dear Night Cove the Fox, hello, my name is Keegan, but I go by Zane, and I am a 16-year-old trans male. I'm transitioning from male to female. I hope this message finds you well. I wanted to express my appreciation for the content you create on your YouTube channel. Sorry, I don't know what my hair is doing. Ignore her. She's freshly blow dried and therefore she just has a mind of her own. Your videos have significantly impacted my life and I want to thank you for sharing your knowledge and experiences with your audience. You've inspired me to try cosplaying. Oh, that's awesome. I've been following your channel since you started YouTube and I am continually impressed by the quality and creativity of your content. Wow, you've been here a while. Yeah, it's definitely been quite the journey. I found the recent song about Mangle to be quite captivating. It was very engaging. Your expertise in your cosplays is truly commendable. You've got a great vocabulary, might I add. I feel like, I feel like I'm being so formally complimented. Your expertise in your cosplays is truly commendable and it's clear that you dedicate a lot of effort to your craft. I would love to hear more about your journey as a YouTuber and the process of creating your content. Your story is both inspiring and insightful and I believe it would resonate with many others who, like myself, admire your work. I have a question. Can you create a meetup instead of Phoenix Fan Fusion? Thank you again for the great content you share with the world. I look forward to seeing more from you in the future. Keep up the fantastic work. P.S. This is my first fan mail. Oh, well, thank you for sending it to me. Um, let's see, about the meetup thing. I choose conventions like Phoenix Fan Fusion because it is safer um, for many reasons that I'm sure you could probably understand. Not only for me, but for the fans and the families who are coming to see me. Um, and it just makes it a nice, open, public, safe space that can be organized um, for meet and greets like that. The only other way I could think of doing a meet and greet is in my long-term future outside of a con um, where it's like some sort of mini tour or something, but I am nowhere near that. What I used to do back in the day uh, when I was first starting out is I used to have a meetup for fans that were also attending Phoenix Fan Fusion or who were just in Phoenix. I used to just do meetups outside of the convention. That way people weren't required to have a pass to get into the convention to just come and say hi to me. 
Um, but over the years, that's gotten less safe to do. Oh, cool, you drew the logo. Look at that. That turned out amazing. Thank you so much. This next one is coming from Oklahoma. Hatsune Miku. She jumped out and attacked Tempest and startled her. There's a, there's a Hatsune Miku sticker that just fell out. Man, I haven't been in my Vocaloid phase in so long. Ever since I did my, I still don't know which way to pronounce her name, never have, but Gumi or Gummy, the green haired one. She was my favorite back in the day. And so I did a cosplay of her when I was very small. Oh, look at this, more Vocaloid stickers. We got the twins, look at that. I can never remember their names. It's been so long, forgive me. I don't recognize her, but if you do, let me know which character this is. She looks cool. Oh, just a couple of little hearts. Pixel art of one of the Vocaloid twins again. More anime characters that I do not recognize. And oh, it's Hatsune Miku with the leak. There's something about that. Oh, the, the like, the polka. There's like a weird animated video of her just singing that song with a leak. I. I, I don't know, man, the internet's a weird place. Another anime ca- a fish? Is that? <laughs> they drew like a little glitch trap face on this balloon. I'm not gonna put my mouth on it uh, to inflate it because I feel like that's a health hazard. That seems a little icky, but he's cute. He's just gonna stay deflated. Got a giant paper clip. Whoa, this is actually really cool. Now this would come in handy for a real big stack of papers. We got a bracelet that says glitch trap. Look at how cool it is. It's got all the colors. I like the glittery yellow and purple beads. Those are so cool. And then, oh, it's a little button. You know, the funny thing is, um, way back in the day, before I had a real merch store, I had buttons on Etsy. And one of them was premium grade A quality dirt, which is a reference to a really old randomness video. And the other one I think just said amazing, which stemmed from fan mail openings because I made fun of myself and I still do it for how many times I would say the word amazing in the span of like opening one piece of fan mail. And so it just became a joke and then I made buttons out of it and sold them on Etsy as my first trial run for merch. And now I have a real merch store. So, you know, origin stories, real cool. Hello, I thought the way you talked about Henry was funny. Oh, you mean the way I absolutely ripped him to pieces <laughs> and made fun of him? Poor guy, um, he, he doesn't deserve it. You told your friend the wiki doesn't lie. This is from Prudence, by the way. So hello, Prudence. Hi, we're big fans. I love your cosplays and videos. I'm a new cosplayer and you were one of my inspirations. In fact, you got me into FNAF. Your songs are awesome and I stream them often. I'm going to attach pictures of me and my cousin as Elizabeth and Evan for some advice on improvements, if that's okay. Love from Oklahoma. Lin Linley? Oh, it's pronounced Linley. Okay, I was, I was close. I mean, I think I'm right. Yeah, Linley. Hey, look at that. Oh, these are cute. You know, honestly, when it comes to improving cosplays, just, I, I don't know, because everyone has like different interpretations of the characters they're cosplaying. And sometimes we have to start from just the things we already own in our closets um, because we're all on a budget. And understandably so, because if you really want to improve in cosplay, a lot of it has to do with being able to afford crafting supplies to practice how to make props and costumes from scratch. It's kind of like art and art is subjective because at the end of the day, you're dressing up as a character you love and the important part is that you're having fun with it and not that you're, you know, putting pressure on yourself to get good at cosplay, you know? Cosplay started as a hobby for everyone. Some people have grown their skill set enough to turn it into a career. But in terms of just improving, I would say continue having fun with it and try new things like styling your wigs or um, sewing. You know, if you have clothes that you already own that you think would be able to be turned into a costume for a character, try sewing. Hello, I love your glitch trap cosplay. I've loved your content for a while and I love that you're in character. Thanks for all the lovely videos and smiles you gave me. From Brinley. P.S. Sorry that the drawing isn't very good. It's not my usual art style. What do you mean? It's so cute. Look at him. That's amazing. I love it. See, there's the word amazing. See what I'm talking about? Still comes out of me every once in a while. But thank you very much, 
Lindley and Brinley, I believe. Uh, it's really cool that your names rhyme. <laughs> All right, next up we have something coming from Utah, the land where Freddy Fazbear was born. Oh, it's like a little embroidered foxy and a sticker of all of them. They're so cute. I love it. Oh, this is from River slash Kalissa for the third time. So hello again, good to hear from you. Oh, well, happy belated birthday to your older sister, and I'm glad you've been having fun in school and celebrating the 10th anniversary. Oh, your birthday's coming up on September 25th. Well, happy early birthday then to you. We have some questions on the back of this letter. I have not played into the pit yet and I am avoiding spoilers, but without spoiling anything, what is something I should look forward to when I do play it? To avoid spoilers, I will just say that there are a lot of really cool details in the game that correlate back to the actual original Into the Pit story, as well as other short stories within that same first Fazbear Frights book and others too. Um, and there's a lot of cool secrets that you can find if you slow down and really take your time exploring and looking around at your surroundings. For some of the secrets, you kind of have to think outside of the box, but it's really cool and fun when you do figure out how to do it. So that's all I'll say, but there's some really cool stuff in there. You can tell that the developers and Scott put a lot of thought into the details of the game and it's really cool to experience. Last time I asked you what your favorite song you've made in the past year was, you answered with the Vanny one that's not out yet. This one is two questions. One, has your favorite unreleased song of yours changed? And two, what is your favorite released song of yours from the past year? My favorite unreleased song hasn't changed. I still think it's gonna be really cool uh, when it comes out. It's currently being animated and it's coming along really nicely so far and I'm really excited for you guys to see it. Hopefully this fall is what we're shooting for. Um, and then the second one, my favorite released song of mine from the past year. I do really like how my Mangle song turned out. Uh, Glamrock Chica was also, well, there's a funny story about that one. I hated that song. Okay, hate is a strong word. I disliked it. I wasn't, I wasn't in love with it, but I put it out there and then the response was really positive and I was like, oh, oh, thank God. I was just being really hard on myself because people seem to really enjoy the Chica song and I'm glad, I'm glad because I was, I don't know what it is about Chica specifically, but like coming up with lyrics for her and trying to be clever, but not like super blunt about just like pizza, exercise, garbage, you know, like I was trying to be a little more clever than that. And I'm not usually singing super girly songs all the time. So there was definitely like, it was a weird experience for me, but I'm glad that everyone seems to love it. So I am proud of it now, <laughs> but at first I was skeptical. Um, but my favorite, I don't know, maybe the alt song I put out, the 8, 5, 12, 16, 13, 5, because that one, the mixing was nice. The composition was clever in the fact that he's speaking to you. Um, the music video was really fun to make. A little challenging, but really fun. My members have been enjoying the, the really unhinged bloopers for that one. Um, <laughs> so I guess I could say that my most recent release currently is probably one of my favorites at least in the past year. And my last question, what is your favorite FNAF song not by you? I think I will always go traditional and say that any of the Living Tombstones original three or four songs cycle around in my favorites. I mean, if I have to pick one song though, I think I'd just stick with the classic, the first one. Five Nights at Freddy's by The Living Tombstone. Ooh, this look, ooh, that's creepy, but I love it. I took so much time on this. My ruined drawings are always better than my others for some reason. That's really good. You really nailed her like endoskeleton there, which we kind of found out is just another mask of some kind, which is why you put it on her face in FNAF VR 2. Fascinating. But thank you very much for sending all of this to me. This next one is coming from South Carolina. Also, the pencil got really faded on this one, but I think it says it's from David and something about enjoying my glitch trap videos. Ah, the, the dignity at the mercy of the internet, not a good idea video. Gotcha, gotcha, okay, I got that much. Oh, and there's drawings on the other side. Oh, and it's your first time sending fan mail. Oh, well, thank you for sending it to me. Look at this little guy. Look at how silly, he is a silly goober. Oh, well, thank you, David. I hope that's your name. It's, it's all I could read, so I hope I got it right. Wait, why does this feel like my friend's handwriting? Oh, I know who this is from. I know exactly who this is from because I know the handwriting and it's from the correct place. Thanks, friend. 
You know who you are. You know exactly who you are. You want to know what it says? I'll open this on fan mail. Yeah, I'm going to open it on fan mail, okay? If you're seeing this right now, yeah. You know what? You, you want to try and get me? Well, I'll get you back. You want to know what my friend sent me? This. And you know what? If, if there is no better thing to summarize our friendship than just this piece of paper. That's it. Thanks, pal. It said for you, bestie, on the envelope. Well, th thank you. No, thank you. That's so kind. Balls. Affectionately. Girl, what the fuck? This next one is coming from Washington. Dear Night Cove, my name is Emma. I'm 13 years old and I live in Washington. I love watching your videos. When I need a laugh or two, watching your videos makes me laugh hard. I would love to meet you in real life. One of my biggest dreams is to meet one of my favorite YouTubers, music artist and or celebrity. My birthday is October 17th. I understand if you, if you don't want to meet me or just can't for some reason. Also, I do have a YouTube channel. It's called glitchtrap underscore lover 2024. Please do spread the word. Well, there you have it. They have a YouTube channel. If you do want to meet me in person, I was just talking about this a little bit ago. As much as I would love to do casual meetups out in the wild that a lot more people could probably have access to, for safety and convenience reasons for everyone involved, um, find me at a convention. Sometimes I post about ones that I am attending, and if you happen to also be attending, that is the best time to come and say hi. So I too hope that one day we can meet in person. We got another page here that has some cute little drawings here of different moments, I believe. Looks like there's pickled ginger there. <laughs> Very cute. Thank you very much, Emma. So that's going to do it for this episode of Fan Mail Openings. I will continue on next week and I will see you then. But in the meantime, thank you all so much for being so kind and taking the time to send me these letters and these drawings and these little trinkets you guys make. It always warms my heart and I appreciate every single one of you. And as always, remember to stay bright because you are a star and I will see you all next time. Bye bye.